And the last thing is do not be afraid to sort of learn as much as you can about a particular school. Okay? There are tons of resources out there. And a lot of things, a lot of times sort of we don't know, if we don't, if we don't know like a person, we don't, for instance, if someone wants to go to school in California and there aren't many alum, there aren't many people from your school or you know who went to a particular school but you find that it's particularly interesting, really make yourself a little bit vulnerable, okay? Sort of throw something out there. Talk, try to find somebody who went to that particular school and just cold call them. Just call them, and call them up and say, you know, can I talk to you for 10 minutes what it was like going to school there? You'd be surprised at how receptive people are if you make yourself a little bit vulnerable, okay? Most of the time, if you, if you write an email or, or you make a phone call to someone, even if, you don't, if you've never met them before, most people are gonna be like, if you introduce yourself and saying, I saw that you went to a particular school, can you spend 10 minutes of your time telling me what your experience was like? Most people will give you much more than 10 minutes, and oftentimes, really kind of very nice relationships are found, or developed from some, you making a little bit of an effort like that. So do not be shy about it, okay? Do not be shy about talking to admissions people. Okay? Do not be shy about talking to sort of alumni or the students who go to school or a particular school. Even if you, they may have gone to your school three or four years earlier and you may not even know them, but call them up or, or send them an email, get their email address and say, do you mind if I talk to you what your, what your experience has been like here? Well, you'd be surprised how receptive are, it, 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 people will be. But more importantly, you'd be surprised at the good information that you get back. Okay? And the more information you get back, the smarter decision you can make at the end of the day, whether a particular school is good for you or not. Okay? So these are just sort of like general criteria about sort of applying to school, things you'd be doing now, things you'd be doing in the future. Uh, I think the fact that you're here is great, the fact that you understand the importance of everything, the importance of doing well in the SAT. The SAT, I really want to emphasize once again, is really, really important. It's a great equalizing factor in the whole process, okay? It's the only objective information that they will get. It's the only piece of information that every, every single candidate has to do. It'll be the same, it's the same scoring system, it's the same grading system, it's the same, pretty much the same tests across the world, okay? It's really important that you do well on it. And it, yes, for some people it is unfair that you have one small test that makes it that big of a component of your application file, but it's, it's just, unfortunately, it's reality, okay? And everything else after you get the score you want on your SAT is almost all controllable by you, okay? So remember that, okay? The more effort you put in, you're probably gonna see great results at the end of the day. And don't be afraid. That's the bottom line. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the people. Don't be afraid of the process. And try to have some fun with it.